welcome to part two of Punch Out We. In this episode, we're going to be taking on Von Kaiser. And Von Kaiser was the second person we faced off in the NES version of Punch Out. Although he was a little bit tougher than what he will be here. I'm just letting you all know Punch Out for the NES was actually tough despite them having some easy fights, him being one of them. Now, he's even less of a challenge here. However, Contender Mode is a totally different story. Cowardly and uh, pretty much calling for his mom. And when he does, you punch him in the face, and that'll give you a free star. Now, sometimes he'll keep his face completely open, other times, he'll keep his body open. Mommy! And I missed my chance to get a star. God damn it! That's okay. Eventually, if I actually, uh, do an infinite loop, which I don't know how to do, by the way. I would have gotten a star from him. However, I did get a star from him there. Oh god, almost a hit. Come on. And honestly, there are three levels of star this time around. Back in the original Punch Out, you can hold up to three star punches. And you can use one at a time. Oh, and be careful when he gets up. Immediately dodge the moment he tries to sick the cobwebs out. Because he will come with a jab that will come out of nowhere. Like that. However, at least I was ready for that one. Oh, oh shit. He block he's blocking all of my punches. Yeah, that's the thing. Stamina button's a thing. Deine Stunde hat geschlagen. Hey Mac baby, teach Von Kaiser a lesson. Send him back to boot camp. He also thinks he's a cuckoo clock, by the way, in case you've noticed. Right. Just to let everybody know, I am not intentionally letting this go past round two. Not by a long shot. Again, I told you, this is the first time I played this game. So, yeah. The only reason I know about Von Kaiser is primarily pre-recorded, and not to mention the fact that I've known some of my knowledge about him from the SNES. I mean, the NES, goddammit. He wasn't in the SNES games. And if I knew him, I should have actually punched him in the face when he was ducking like that, and I would have gotten a uh, star then. In fact, when he was about to throw the uppercut, I should have punched him in. Whatever the case, I shouldn't take too much damage, but I did. I took way too much. One, two. Ironically enough, despite giving Doc Lewis a chocolate bar, my health did not go up. Well, that was because of the fact I also took damage earlier. Oh, damn it, you idiot! Uh, why did I? Why did I fall for that? And bear in mind, when enemies hit you, your stamina gauge goes down, and when it goes down completely, you'll be tired, you'll be left wide open, and take more damage without any stamina than what you do with stamina. Bear that in mind for later fights. Oh, and he's down for the count. I can't believe I got that animation, by the way. Normally, I got that from a star punch. Whatever the case, he's done. And that is the end of Von Kaiser. Not that hard. I just kept getting hit too much. Rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. That sucker didn't even stand a chance. You ready for the next challenge now? Yeah. Two fighters down in the minor circuits of the World Video Game Boxing Association. Now, 
here's the thing. We're going to be taking on Disco Kid, and this guy is a relatively new character for this game. He was known by another name in the arcades as Kid Quick. However, we'll worry about that in the next episode, but I will give you a word of warning. Later on, there's going to be some dirty tactics pulled by some of the boxers later on, so bear that in mind. This is Arvin Man 985. Peace out, and see you later.